Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another part of my state series. I know it's been a little while, but this is a series where I am slowly going through all 50 states in the US and creating homes loosely inspired by each state. I do this by collecting a lot of research, fun facts, just information about each state, as well as looking at Zillow listings in the area and just being inspired by the architecture I'm seeing and some like silly goofy things as well. Like maybe if a lot of houses I see have carpeted bathrooms, that's something I might include. Uh, but today we are tackling the state of Ohio and I have collected quite a few facts to share with you and we are building in the world of Copperdale. It kind of felt like it fit the atmosphere I was seeing the most in the pictures I was seeing and all of the research I did. So that's where I decided to place this. If you'd like to place it for yourself, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. And this is placed on the Little Falls Nook lot, which I think is a really pretty one right by the water. Uh, but anyway, let's get to our facts about Ohio. Ohio is a state in the Midwestern region of the U.S., and it was actually the 17th state admitted to the Union. With 44,825 square miles of land and water, it is the 34th largest state in the U.S. Ohio borders Lake Erie to the north, Pennsylvania to the east, West Virginia to the southeast, and Kentucky to the southwest. Indiana is to the west and Michigan to the northwest. So there's a lot of states bordering Ohio, which I've never really thought about where Ohio was. So that's more states than I thought. Uh, and actually, the capital of Ohio is Columbus, which is the largest city in the state. But some other large cities include Cleveland, Cincinnati, Dayton, Akron and Toledo. Uh, I actually mostly looked at Cleveland and Toledo when I was looking for references for what I wanted this house to look like. And this was a shape I saw a lot of. And if the houses did have any sort of garage, it was always detached. There didn't seem to be any bump outs on the sides of these builds. So I tried to keep that pretty accurate. I did add like a little side porch so you could exit the house over here, but I didn't add any like bump outs of actual rooms. I did, however, add a basement here, which I turned into a sort of like efficiency apartment. It's like a studio space that you could rent out using the for rent expansion pack if you'd like to. I just thought that that was a fun idea and I haven't done a lot with basements, but recently I've been remembering that I can. <laughs> and so I thought I would include that in this build. Ohio actually derives its name from the Ohio River that forms the southern border of the state, which is originated from the Seneca word Ohio, meaning a good river or great river or large creek. The state was home to several ancient indigenous civilizations with humans present as early as 10,000 BCE. And some of the native tribes include the Erie, the Kickapoo and the Shawnee. Another fun fact from Ohio is that seven presidents of the United States are from Ohio and it earned the moniker of the mother of presidents. I think it's only the second most popular state for presidents to come from, but it was still quite a lot. Also, interestingly, Akron, Ohio was the first city to use police cars in the United States. Anyway, the shape of this build is starting to come together here. I've added lots of windows. I'm using quite a few that are from the Growing Together pack. I just thought that they looked nicely nice here and they fit with the style I was seeing a lot in my pictures that I was referencing. I basically just go on Zillow and look at lots of homes in the area, both inside and out, and try and kind of mesh those together into what I'm seeing from my outside perspective because I have not been to all of the US states and I have not been to Ohio. So this is based on the research I have done and some shows and stuff that are based in this area as well. Uh, so. Hopefully I did okay. You can let me know what you think. And of course, if you have any fun facts from Ohio, if you're from the area, you're informed about the area and you'd like to include any information down below, please do let me know. I would love to read everything about that. And of course, what state you would like to see next. I am hoping to, for the next state build, have a new improved like graphic that shows you all of the states that we have already done for this series because I do often get suggestions for states that we've already done. So I'm actually gonna quickly read off the ones that we have done so far. And hopefully for the next one, we will have a like graphic on screen for you to see it. Cause it, I think it's close to 20 now that we have done. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab our playlist. I will have the playlist linked down below as well of all of the state builds. I believe the playlist is called uh, 50, yeah, 50 state builds. 
Um, yeah, there are 20 so far. So this should be the 21st. Uh, the very first one we did was Wyoming. And then we have also done Maine, Arizona, Florida, Wisconsin, Louisiana, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, New Mexico, Utah, Oregon, um, or Oregon, Massachusetts, Washington, Colorado, Alaska, West Virginia, Texas, Connecticut, and Delaware. So those are the ones we've already done. And now Ohio. So if you have any suggestions on the next date, I would love to hear that. I have some ideas written down for some of them. So I am excited to continue. I'm feeling pretty inspired about this. That's kind of what holds me back is the reason I don't have these uploaded too often is it depends on if I'm feeling inspired to do a state build or not. Uh, but I'm excited to do some more hopefully soon. So let me know what you'd like to see. Anyway, we are working on the floor plan inside now. I'm just quickly doing a basic lay layout in the basement now for this tiny apartment that I wanted to have down here. It does change slightly and that extra room down there I do delete. I was thinking originally to have like a space for a water heater and all of that, but I decided not to. And then I'm just throwing a couple of items in the attic here. I end up turning that into sort of like a art studio slash office space, which I think is really cool, but uh, we will get to that a little bit later. Starting to paint the downstairs and then working on the kitchen here. I did change the swatch of these counters a few different times because I really wanted it to match the wood tone that I put on the floor, but I, in the end, swapped them out for these other counters from base game that I like so much better. I was just really trying to use the other ones because I don't use them as often, but I think these worked a little bit better. This is definitely supposed to be a little bit of an outdated house. I think this is just like an average uh, house. Not everyone has an updated space. And that was a lot of what I was seeing because all of the updated houses looked like everything I see everywhere where they had the gray floorboards and just like the exact same finishes. And so I didn't want to do that. So I went with a house that had not been updated, but I think this ends up being a really cute space. You could definitely have a pretty sizable family in this house. And uh, overall, I just really like it. That's part of what I like about the state series is I end up doing some layouts and some exteriors that feel different than other things I've created. And then they also feel more realistic, like it's a real house that exists because it's based on exactly that. It's not off of one specific house. It's a collection of different houses I look at that I'm inspired from, but it ends up just looking so much more realistic to me that way. Let me know if you feel like you've seen this house before in real life, because I do. Anyway, Ohio has the second largest Amish population of any state in the nation, and the state of Ohio is the only state that has a non-rectangular state flag. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's Bergy shaped and it was adopted in 1902, nearly a century after Ohio was granted statehood in 1803. So this is the dining room space. It's pretty small right off of the kitchen. I just have a circular table with four chairs and a couple of decorations here and there. I really liked that corner cabinet piece I put uh, by the door to the bathroom. It is from Cats and Dogs and it has some boats and stuff on there, which was something that I found very common in the Ohio area. Lots of boating. So I wanted to include that here and then just trying to put some general decorations on this little side table. I thought it looked quite nice. And of course, coming back and adding some more decorations to the kitchen, I kind of bounce around this build. That tends to be something I do in a lot of my builds. Uh, I, as I remember things and speaking of which a little bit later on in the build towards the end, I'm like, oh, I forgot a bunch of these references I wanted to put throughout. I was mostly going off of like references and a lot of things that I saw were pretty common in the houses, but I also wanted to have some references to the fun facts. For example, the state bird is the cardinal, which can be found in all of Ohio's 88 counties. And it's actually also the state bird of six other states of Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, North Carolina, Virginia, and West Virginia. And for a really long time, I forgot to put something cardinal related in here. We actually have a little like framed cardinal feather with a picture that came with cats and dogs. And later on, I will be placing that in the downstairs bathroom. I just forgot when I was decorating the bathroom and then I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to put this here. Uh, so later on, you'll see me do that same thing with a plane that I will be adding a little bit later, a like decorative plane that I put on top of a piano, which cord uh, like correlates to one of the facts that I'll be reading in a little while as well. Uh, so the heart of it all is a slogan of Ohio, and it's not just a slogan because Columbus, Ohio is located within 500 miles of 48 percent of the U.S. population, which I thought was quite wild. Uh, also, the first black mayor of any major city was uh, Carl Strokes, and he became a mayor in Ohio in 1967. Also, Ohio is the birthplace of Superman. It was created by Cleveland High School students Jerry Seigel and Joe Shuster in 1933. 
Uh, Ohio is also the home to the 1994 film, The Shawshank Redemption. It was filmed at the Ohio State Reformery in Mansfield, Ohio. I have so many random facts. Some are like more historical and some are like, this movie was filmed here or we have this weird law. And that's another part that I just love about this series is just like strange information. You get to learn about the state, but also have some fun facts. And you can kind of see how I tried to incorporate them into the build. But this is going to be the primary bedroom. I am using the new bed that came with for rent. I think it is so pretty. And I just thought it matched the color swatches really nicely in here. So that's what I opted for. Uh, back to my little list I have here. The first pro football league was the American Professional Football Association, which was formed in Canton in 1920. And also with that, Ohio's Cincinnati Red Stockings were the first professional baseball team in the U.S. in 1869. And actually members of that team would go on to form a club that is still around today, which you might know as the Atlanta Braves. This was another fact that really inspired one of the bedrooms, not this one. The next bedroom we're going to get to is for a teenager who's really into sports. I really wanted to capture that sense two of the major like leagues that were in that we have today were started in Ohio. So I really wanted one of the rooms to be really revolving around sports. So we'll get to that shortly. But this room is like very outdoorsy, lots of like plants and stuff. And I don't think I have it written down. But when I was doing research, there was a lot about um, like nurseries for plants in my research. I wish I wrote that down. I don't know why I didn't. So I liked the idea of one of the rooms having something to do with plants. Let me see if I can find what that information was real quick. Ohio plant nursery facts, maybe? Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, do, 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 do. The nursery industry in Ohio is big business with the largest concentration in Eastern Lake County. Okay, so it's probably just a really big business in Ohio. So that's why I decided to include that. But this is that sports themed room. I start with like some more basketball stuff in here, but I end up adding all sorts of sports. The uh, curtains have all sorts of different balls on them. I will be adding some footballs later on. And there is a baseball bat in that pile of sports equipment on the ground. So I thought that that was kind of nice. It's something that just made a lot of sense for this build to have uh, the sports interest. We do have a lot of sports stuff in the game. So I included a lot of that here. Well, basketball wasn't one of the ones that was mentioned. I almost never get to use this decal on the wall from Parenthood with the basketball hoops. So I decided to include that there. I thought it was quite cute. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it for this room. And I'm going to give you some more random facts while we work on the office space up here as well as the art studio. I was thinking that the kid downstairs that has the more like a uh, outdoorsy room was also interested in art and they probably do a lot of art up here. Maybe one of their parents is also an artist. And they kind of work together in this space. I thought that, that was a cute idea. But two of the most successful fast food chains are from Ohio with Wendy's from Columbus and Arby's from Boardman, Ohio. Also, Thomas Edison was born in Milan, Ohio. And Ohio is also the birthplace of aviation uh, because the Wright brothers hailed from Dayton, Ohio, where they conceived their airplane. Uh, you might know that their first flight actually was from North Carolina, though, which is why that state slogan is first in flight. But they themselves are from Ohio, and that's where they conceived their airplane. So I think that was kind of fun. Um, and that's also why I end up putting an airplane little sculpture piece on top of the piano downstairs a little bit later, as I remembered, because I just kind of got carried away building and I was like, I forgot to add these little things. So you'll see that a little bit later. Um, Ohio uh, is also home to Cedar Point, which is the second oldest amusement park in the country, which was founded in 1870. The only older one is Lake Compounds in Bristol, Connecticut. Also in Ohio, it is prohibited to participate or conduct a duel. That's just a silly fun fact. <laughs> so I thought I would include that. I like to have some goofy ones in there. Uh, but as you saw, I just did place down that little uh, plane on top of the piano. And now we were going to this detached garage. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this space. So I ended up putting a car in here and then some uh, like counters on the back area. And I actually kind of tried to turn this space into a nursery for plants because of that uh, fact that I had read, which we are going to be doing right now. I'm adding a bunch of these little plants uh, from the Blooming Rooms kit and I end up putting a bunch of lights above them and turning them red to have that like grow light look 
which I thought was a fun way to set up this garage space. You could probably also put some regular planters in here so your Sims can actually grow things, but I liked the idea of just making this look like this space is used for that. And then I have some bikes and stuff in here. It's a pretty simple garage, but it's a little bit different than what I typically do because I feel like I'm always like, okay, a woodworking table and a storage box. But this time I'm like, no, we grow plants here. And I thought that that was a fun way to fill up this space. And then I'm just getting some blinds on those windows before I believe we're gonna be heading into either the attic or the basement apartment. I also did get a barbecue out on this like side porch. So if your Sims would like to grill some stuff outside, that is a spot to do it. Here is that football I had mentioned I was gonna be adding into the teenager's room. I always forget we have that now because we do have football teams now with the high school years pack, but that's not something I use that often. So I just tend to forget that we have it. And it looks like I didn't cut out a pause here where I was just staring at it for a while. I do that a lot in my builds where I have an idea, but then I just stare at it trying to figure out where I want to include something. So down here, I am adding a cuckoo clock as well. I know that had to do with a fact as well. And I don't remember that one either. Why didn't I write that one down? Ohio cuckoo clock. Oh, they're home to the largest cuckoo clock. That's fun. Um, <laughs> it is Sugar Creek. Um, it's in the center of Swiss, Swiss, Vill Swiss Village in uh, Sugar Creek. It's over 23 feet tall and 24 feet wide. So I put a cuckoo clock upstairs. That is from the werewolves pack. I think it's a cute item. I don't use it too often, but it made sense for the reference that I found here. So uh, that is what that was for. Uh, weird how like when I was building, I was like, oh, these fun facts, but they somehow didn't get written down. I, I did write down a lot of stuff though, and I do have a few more things to read for you. Uh, but this is that basement like studio apartment space. I keep it pretty simple down here, but I liked the idea of having something for your Sims to rent out. That's another way to earn some money. And I'm trying to like include for rent options in more of my builds since it's such a nice way to play. So that's the idea there. So this next one is quite interesting. So on November 13th, 1884, the new Streetsville coal mine workers decided that they had enough and went on strike for sick or of, they were sick of unfair working conditions, uh, but it wasn't exactly a strike. Instead, they, they lit the whole mine on fire by pushing a blazing mine cart into the mine and the the fire's still going on today. It, it's It's been burning for a very, very, very long time, like well over a hundred years. And uh, that I just thought was fascinating. Uh, anyway, this downstairs apartment is coming together. I did get the cutting boards on the wall. I of course have to add those in almost every build because they don't take up a slot on the counter and it just looks nice. And then I just added some more shelving over here before we work on the bathroom. And before we finish up this build, I do have three more facts to share with you. First being the Candy Lifesavers was invented in Cleveland, Ohio by Clarence A. Crane in 1912. Also, Quaker Oats was trademarked by Akron Company General Mills as the first breakfast cereal in 1877. And lastly, Amos Tyler of Toledo received the first patent for chewing gum in 1869. So I feel like there was a lot of firsts in Ohio, which I did not know about. And uh, just like a lot of fun facts. I, I didn't really know anything about the state going into this. So this is a lot of fun and I really hope you enjoyed it as well. We're doing some finishing touches here, like adding a place to sit on the front porch, a couple of mailboxes. There's one out front of the house as well as a wall mounted one right outside of that studio apartment in the basement. I also wanted to get some flowers on the front porch and, you know, just trying to do any finishing touches here. We do have some welcome mats that came with for rent. So I thought that those would be a nice addition. For a really long time, I was sad that the only welcome mats we had were the cats and dogs ones because it was like, oh, if you put this out, you're asking for stray animals to show up at your door. And well, in real life, I like that. In the Sims, it's kind of annoying. So I opted to usually not have welcome mats. But now with that, we have these ones from For Rent. I do use them a lot more often. And with that, we are heading on into screenshots here momentarily. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what state I should do next and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.